What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at the new archetype, Kushatora? Kushatoria. Uh, we'll go ahead. And I think it's based on like a prize card that came out, uh, like Diablos, where you look at your opponent's extra deck and banish a card face down. I love that card. And it, I think they finally reprinted it at some point. Um, but we'll go ahead and look at the archetype that it's based around. It's probably going to be all level sevens. This is a psychic. Okay, okay. Uh, you can only use each of the second and third effects of this card once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. I'm going to guess that all of them have this effect, but it'll be interesting to see how you get the second one out there. Uh, okay, so during the main phase, you can add one Kushatoria monster from your deck to your hand. All right, a monster that searches like Magician's Rod. Who doesn't like that? Of course, you can freely special summon it too. If this is like the first card you see. When this card attacks, declares an attack, okay. Or if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can ban it. You can target one face-up card your opponent controls, banish it face down. Wow, and it doesn't have to be monster either. That's a, phew, a searcher plus a, a free, like, it has to be face-up, but still, lots of application there. Like, your opponent, like, has to be careful. <laughs> like, if they're gonna, like, they have to run into this at some point, right? That's pretty cool. It's a good monster. Kushatoria Unicorn. You can only use the second and third effects of this card once per turn. If you control the monsters, you can special summon, special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can add one Kushatoria spell from your deck to your hand. Also a searcher. Very cool. So this searches monster. This searches spells. When this card declares an attack, or if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can look at your opponent's extra deck, banish one card from it face down. So, yeah, that's like... If they if you special summon this and you go to activate Kushatoria and they like effect failure you, well, they have just lost a card from their extra deck, uh, which is pretty neat. I like that a lot. Uh, this is Kushatoria Ogre. You can only use a, the second and third effects of this card once per turn. If you control no monsters, special summon. Uh, during your main phase, you can add one Kushatoria Trap. So obviously that makes sense. This does traps. Last one did spells. First one did monsters. When this card declares an attack, or if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can excavate the top five cards of your opponent's deck, banish one card from it face down, also place the remaining cards on top of the deck, oh, in the same order. That'd be cool if it was in any order, because then you can just put, like, a huge brick in there on the top of their deck. That's crazy. That's cr that's actually crazy. Like, your opponent will not hand, like, likely will not, like, want to hand trap you. You know, if you're playing Salad, it's probably not that good, unless you see, like, Sanctuary... Uh, it's not that good against Sword Soul. They play a pot of desires anyways. But there's going to be plenty of decks if you're playing this where your opponent's like, oh, okay, well, you just got rid of one of the most important things in my deck. Uh, especially when you look at the extra deck and stuff too. So pretty good support. We'll see how easy it is to get two sevens on the board here in a second. This is Kushitoria Shangri-La. Oh, Shangri-La. Shangri -La. That's, um, <laughs> that's just the name of a hotel in Taiwan that I visited one time. Uh, okay, so this is two sevens, and you can only use the first effect of this card once per turn. During the Ether standby phase, you can special summon one Kushatori monster from your deck. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, especially yeah. That's that's really good, because then you can like just bring this guy out or like whatever the case may be. Like oh, like I need to get rid of some more stuff in their extra deck. Like, whew, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Each time your opponent's card is banished face down, you can declare one unused main monster zone or spell and traps in the zone cannot be used while this card is face up on the field. Yeah, main. I was going to say, if you just target that extra monster zone, you just win. Um, it could be good. Oh, each time your opponent's card is banished face down? For real? Oh, that's your phone has got to really be careful. This is kind of nuts. Uh, I like this. Every card I've read so far is good. If this card were like, even if the, okay, let's say like the way that's structured right now, it's really hard to get the extra seven. I don't really care so much about that because like at some point it, it will probably be fixed. I'm not saying it hasn't been already. Um, although it is a little worrisome so far, like getting one is easy, getting the second, not maybe not so much. And I'm sure there's also like seven, like rank seven support at some point. Or, like, in the vastness of Yu-Gi-Oh, there's, like, sevens that can special summon themselves somehow. But, yeah, like, I'm judging it based on the effects, and the effects are good. If this card were to be destroyed by card or 
battle or card effect, you can attach one material to this card instead. All right. Awesome so far. Kushitoria base, continuous spell. You can only use the first, second, third effects of this card once per turn. You can normal summon a level 7 without tributes. Salute. There you go. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one of your non-XYZ Kushitoria monsters that is either vanished or in your graveyard. So, when you, yeah, you attach material from this, bring it back. <laughs> this is a very good continuous spell. If your opponent activates a spell or effect while you control a Kushitoria monster, you can target three cards in your opponent's graveyard, banish them face down. Which would trigger this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're just banishing everywhere. Face up on the field from your opponent's extra deck. I like it. I like it. I like it. This is the trap. This is a continuous trap. All right. Continuous spell and a continuous trap. Better than just using them and then we're gone, right? Uh, during either turn, you can special summon a Kushitoria monster that is either banished or from your hand. That's nice because you're really starting to set up your loops a little bit. Uh, and the, like the monsters also aren't just bad on the field. They're not great, but they're not bad either. Okay, if your opponent activates a trap or effect while this card is already face up and you control a Kuchatoria monster, uh, you can look at your opponent's hand. If you do banish one of them face down, that's crazy. Your opponent just can't use trap cards for the most part. Whew, man, oh man. So you're obviously going to activate this in the draw phase. Because, yeah, I mean, you might as well. Like, the thing is, like, if you do, it's like, oh, your opponent knows what you have now. But at the same time, it's like, okay, now you're just saying your opponent can activate trap cards, right? Which, oh, dude, which is crazy. Because if you banish a card from your opponent face down, and you have this, and you're just, they can't use a monster zone or a spell and trap zone. I like it. A kill, like, Frost, dude, this guy is, like, terrible. This card's horrible. The kill of Frost, I think it's called, something like that. Uh, but it's in all like it's in so many of these um, archetypes. Or, or is this just Scareclaw? Okay, I was gonna say like that would just be crazy, right? If they just kept doing that, because uh, I don't think there's no way, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so that's that's just um, Scareclaw stuff. Cool. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that's a really good start. Like, of course, like you need more than five cards to make an archetype like pure or whatever you want to call it um, but this is usable right now very usable in my opinion i'm kind of excited i hate to declare stuff meta or not meta but the potential of this is like pretty much unmatched in my opinion you probably want to run um pointer of the red lotus i don't know if it's hard if that vanishes face down or not uh, if it does of course you want to, that would be pretty crazy right stand by our draw phase you activate red take a look at their hand or no, let's say draw phase, you put this face up, Kushitoria preparation. Um, and then in the draw phase, you activate red, look at their hand, banish something, which triggers this here. I think you would grab two. You know, I got to look it up real quick. Um, pointer uh, of <laughs> the red lotus. Does it banish face up or face down? No, it doesn't banish face down. Never mind. That would have been cool, but it doesn't work. Um, I don't know. There, I'm sure there's other stuff. But uh, all right, that's going to do it for today's video. Other than that, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. I can't speak.